How should the world be governed today? As the world becomes more interdependent and interconnected, the idea of forming a single world government has regained momentum. Though unsuccessfully attempted countless times throughout history, organizations such as the European Union offer hope for future success. Today, we will look at three forms of world governance. All nations being united under one rule, independent nation-states maintaining their own governments, and forming a committee of world citizens. After reviewing these options, you can decide for yourself how should the world be governed today. Let's take a look at the arguments for a united world government. First, global efficiency objectives. Individual nations are unable to tackle global issues because they are focused on their own goals. A world government could organize resources more effectively to tackle them, thus achieving the greater good for the planet. Second, political objectives. Proponents also believe that a united world government would finally lead to world peace, as there would be no need for war if everyone had a loyalty beyond their nation states. So, has the time now come to push for the establishment of one world government? Next, let's take a look at the arguments for sovereign nation states. First, preservation of cultures. In a world where many cultural aspects are disappearing, sovereign nation states could more easily preserve them under the current system. As culture shapes identity, preserving it should remain a top priority. Second, preventing the abuse of power. Having many individual nation states would provide natural checks and balances against the potential rise of a single, oppressive global authority. So, should we maintain the current nation-state system as we march into the future? Lastly, let's take a look at the arguments for establishing a committee of world citizens, such as the United Nations Parliamentary Assembly. First, giving minorities a voice. Minority opinions are not being reflected by national representatives. If the world was governed by citizen representatives, a truer sense of democracy could finally be achieved. Second, improving political efficiency. Because the current system is bogged down by unnecessary lobbying and self-preservation, this assembly could reach decisions more swiftly and transparently. Having looked at the various strategies for world governance, how do you think the world should be governed?